why that went so wrong. Lifestealer wasn't there. Beastmaster's trying to initiate. He's more of a combo breaker. Let your tanky cores actually get involved first. Fate is able to just rage and walk away. Support is nearby, and it's Afro on the aggress. He's up. Well, okay, I did not just do that. Um, Fate is back up at the top. Back to the tier three tower to safety. I did not talk like that. Punch me if I ever talk like that ever again, Kyle. I love picture. James, in he goes. Now to get the mass up and wards down, and maybe they actually have a little bit of aggression, but no, Afro, he just goes ham. Doesn't have the enrage, but he's got the Agency Mortal. He's got a ticket to just keep fighting. FNG will fall, and they look for that fight over towards the Life Stealer, away from the Shrine, which has no charge. Here comes Jakira. The Ice Path catches absolutely no one, but the stuns from the Familiars. The Hark is just way too good, enabling Afro then blink in aggressively. Birds. Like, there's no resummon available for him, but they're pushing in the bottom lane. Beastmaster is trying to force a TP back. Lifesteal's coming down as well. They're going for a trade-off, letting the Bristleback be the frontline fighter, but Afo is so much stronger. And you say goodbye to your Bristleback. The bottom tier three tower, it loses a third of its life, but the top tower, hilariously enough, is still alive, but their own Crimson Guard being popped up. That's the one from the Visage. Ravage sp sprays out, cats out in three heroes. The bigger one is the Lifestealer. They get another core kill, and even the Spike Carapace stun onto the Chakira, meaning it can go from one to the other. The split soul assumption damage, it does heavy work, but Chakira can tank through it, and maybe they can control the Nyx Assassin, FTD, the defense, but no, you have cheese. He got the life straight back up again. Now Afro is going to rip apart the backline of FTD. Nowhere to stand. This will be a dieback from the Bristle. He does nowhere near enough damage, and now they can just take the top lane of Rags in relative peace, or they can take more kills. Either or, Chakira is gone. His buyback's expanded. Faden, if he goes down to that's both of your large cores, nice. both of your networks have nothing available as the rage wears off, the impale is perfect, and that may actually just be... Snowballing pretty soon. They're gaining gold faster than FTD, and they're the only ones with real kill potential on the map. You can see a roar onto a hard support, but there's no one who can really follow up. Where's the damage from uh, FTD? Snowball coming over towards FNG while the top lane, they're going to doom up over on the life stealer. So looking for a bit of a trade-off as FNG does go down quickly. Dual Breath onto Immersion, clips the edge of the Doombringer, but they just oh keep moving God. forward, and with the OD dropping the hammer, the life, the mana, it all disappears. So does the troll into the abyss. It's that's, longer. That's, the ice path lasts longer, Toby. That's math. Uh, Troll Trap is out once again. Tuscar can't move away. And in fact, look at the Tombbringer. They knew they already had the kill. So jumping forward with the OD Hammer. Beastmaster is deleted. And they're going once again for even more. Chasing the last remaining player alive for FTD. Goodbye, Troll. And.